All right. I guess that should do it. Hi, Colonel. Stop calling me that. I switched off the radio signal. Nice work. Maybe we can't stop the disease, but at least we've stopped their clarion. What else did you find? Eh, someone's diary, but nothing about who's really behind all this. You did good, but what about Cardero here? Oh, there must be some way to perk him up. Leave it with me. See you later. Goodbye. I may not know art, but I know a pile of junk when I see one. A kettle. I'm sure that's not a crucial part of Cartero's artistic whatchamacallit. Okay, let's get some water. These herbs will make a good infusion, but I should heat the water first. Let's boil that water. Mm-hmm, this will be tasty. I shouldn't bother. What do you got there? It's... Is it gonna make him sick? Um... So it's gonna kill him. I'm... not... Uh, I think I'll start over again. I recognize this plan. It's in Jervis's book.
Let's boil that water. These herbs will make a good brew. What have you got there? It's Dahoon Holly tea. Dahoon Holly, eh? Good thinking. That might be just the thing to give Cardero a boost. Cordero, are you okay? This place... This place brings it all back. Ah, Cardero! Thought I broke your brain. The eagle... is rising. What's so important about this place? I captured it in art. The room of indoctrination. The words. The noise. This represents the place where they tortured me, tried to make me think like them. Can you remember what that symbol means now? It is the eagle, their seal. It means death for us all. Hmm. Here, I was hoping it meant crawlers for us all. Who did this? They did this. The people in the woods. The ones who attacked your home. The death cult. My mother joined them when I was just a boy. They put their mark on me. Now, I need rest. Okay. I'm sorry for bringing back painful memories. It is good. An artist should face the truth. I escaped them once. This time, no one will. I'll be damned if I'm gonna let a bunch of crackpots stroll around killing everyone. Then let me take that canister to Professor McBride. You know I'm not one of them. I don't have that ugly tattoo. Plus, I disabled that signal. True. You're okay, Pendril. Come down to the cabin. I got something for you. I'm sorry I didn't trust you sooner. Here, take the canister. Maybe I also should have shown you this earlier. A phone number? I sort of lied when I said I couldn't track down your girlfriend. That's her number. Hello, well. I have to call her. And she's not my girlfriend. Okay, whatever. You can use my phone. Thanks, Colonel. I mean, Ranger Jervis. Hmm. Hello. Hello, well? Harper? Is that you? We've been so worried. Where are you? I'm out in the boondocks, in the Greystone Woods Ranger Shack. Greystone? How did you get there? I was rescued by a kindly park ranger. Kindly? A park ranger? Stay where you are. I'll drive right over. Listen, hello well. I think I know who's behind the Yelltown attack. I even found the radio tower that transmitted your radio signal. The source of the signal? That's amazing! Did you get pictures? Uh... pictures? No, but I found this old diary. Can you get in there? We need all the evidence we can get. Sure, I'll try. I'll drive across from Port Nicola now. Meet you at the Ranger Shack in two hours? Okay. Harper, it's good to hear your voice. You, you too. You need pictures, eh? Yeah, I, uh... Take my camera. There's still a few pictures left on the roll. Thank you. Just get the bastards, okay? Oh, God. What's going on here? Hey, what, what are you doing there? Hello, hello. Just a little bit of tidying up. You must be the one who interfered with the transmission. Returning to the scene of the crime. Rookie mistake. The scene of your crime, you mean? Aren't you a sassy one? Keep away from me! I have evidence! I got one of your virus canisters. We're gonna blow this case wide open! We? Who's we? I mean my, uh, SWAT team! 
They'll be here any minute. How do you like that? Did you ever wonder what the fever feels like? I... what? It feels like this. <gasps> if you've no objections now, I'll take this canister off your hands. Starting to get cold. Radio. You're listening to Backwoods Radio. This is Bobby. And the Duke. For two weeks now, listeners have been calling in worried about Yelltown fever. Joining us on the line now is Patrick Rancho, CEO of the Rancho Health Corporation. Mr. Rancho, has RHC lost control of the situation? Oh, thank you for having me on the show, Bobby, Duke. Uh, no, RHC has not lost control. In fact, we've been very successful in containing a highly contagious, unknown pathogen. Yelltown, or Buddha's Hill, now Greystone. Is it time people got out of Port Nicola, Mr. Rancho? Panic will only make it harder to keep people safe. Our doctors are getting better at treating this virus every day. They're working tirelessly to protect you and your loved ones. Please, stay in your homes and remain calm. Uh, Harper? Harper? Uh, what? What's going on? Ah! Oh, my head. Where am I? You're in Port Nicola, my apartment. We followed your tracks and found you out cold by that radio tower. Ranger Jervis told me everything about this cult. Thank God you're finally awake. I'm not sure she had anything to do with it, dear. Professor, he's talking. Good to have you back, Harper. What happened to you out there? 
I got shot! Shot? The man in the black suit, he shot me with... You have to get away from me. He gave me Yelltown fever. Yelltown fever? Harper, you were feverish for a few nights, but you don't have the symptoms of the Yelltown virus. But the, the cold guy shot me with some virus thing. Your system took a beating, son, but you're not infected. Very strange, that. Let me take a blood sample and run some more tests. Ick. Okie doke. I'll call when I have the results. Try not to worry. So I'm... I'm all right? Get some fresh air and you'll be right as rain. Goodbye, Miss Halliwell. Maybe I ought to change my clothes. I've been wearing the same outfit for weeks. But I don't think Hellowell has anything in my size. Never mind. Aw, Hellowell's printed out articles she wrote. What a tryhard. Being proud of my work doesn't make me a tryhard. Great journalism is the last thing safeguarding our democratic freedoms. Uh-huh. Seven ways to clean your apartment using bread. Hey, those work. Number five will blow your mind. I guess that's where I spent the last week. Where did Hellowell sleep? I didn't. I shouldn't go rummaging around amongst Hellowell's things. Huh, baking powder. Well, well, sure has a lot of dishes. I bet she hosts, like, fancy soirees and stuff. Oh, yeah. I'm taking that bike bump. I can't think of a situation this wouldn't be useful in. Are you still here? Thank you for taking care of me. Ah, McBride did most of the work. How are you feeling? Okay, I guess. Ah, my head is pounding, though. Maybe you should take a walk. Relax a little. Have you found out anything about RHC? Whoever set the Greystone radio tower on fire knew what they were doing. There was nothing left by the time I arrived. So I've spent the last week doing traditional research. But for a major health contractor, RHC either have very light footsteps or very good lawyers. What's the link between RHC and the death cult from Greystone? Hard to say. Ranger Jervis set up a phone call with your friend Cardero. Cardero? Huh. I bet he flipped out after two minutes. Five, actually. He wanted to help, but he didn't know anything about Rancho Health Corporation. Huh. Do you think the cult is controlling RHC? That's terrifying option A. The corporation has been infiltrated by some crazy cult. And terrifying option B? The corporation was set up by the crazy cult. Is there a comforting option C? Nope. Who's in charge of RHC? Patrick Rancho. I haven't been able to confirm his DOB, but he's at least 60. RHC was formed through a merger in 92, and Rancho's been at the helm ever since. Can you get an interview with him? Ugh. RHC, it's like an octopus with a million tentacles and no head. I've called every number, and I haven't got higher than the interns who do the photocopying. What else do you know about Patrick Rancho? Just that he doesn't like phone calls from nosy writers. Rancho must have gotten MC Escher to design his corporate structure. Everyone I talk to passes me on to someone else until I end up back at the start. Shouldn't we tell everyone what RHC is up to? We can't, not yet. RHC is too influential. If we told people what we saw, what some crackpot artist told us, we'd be lucky not to end up in straitjackets. No, we need hard evidence before we go public. Enough about RHC. Did you pick up the virus canister when you found me? Virus canister? Damn. I guess the cult guy took it. Sorry, Harp. You did have that diary you told me about. Here. 
I also took the film out of the ranger's camera. Oh, good thinking. Have you looked at the photos Jervis took? Not yet. It's one of those old-fashioned analog cameras. The film needs developing, but I don't dare hand them over the counter at Photomart. I'm being super cautious, but this roll could contain explosive material. Oh, wow. Right. Not literally explosive. Oh, right. Have you tried developing the Ranger's photos yourself? I always sucked big time at chemistry. You're good with technical stuff. Why don't you give it a try? Me? <laughs> no way. I'll probably just set myself on fire. I'll quit it. Take the film. I guess I'll see what I can do. Talk to you later. Oh, before I forget, take this. A flash drive? What's on it? Naughty stuff? Pretty naughty, yeah. A hacking app for bypassing security protocols. It's not powerful enough to take on RHC-level mega encryption, but you might find some use for it. Hacking? All right. You are a cool person, Jane Hallowell. Yeah, whatever. It's super illegal, so don't leave it on the bus. Which reminds me, take this map. I don't want you wandering off into the woods again. A bicycle patch kit. I'll swipe it while Hallowell isn't looking. I may not be looking, but I am listening. You sure talk to yourself a lot. Well, I spent a lot of time living alone. So, this is where Hallowell keeps her mildew. I don't need to go. Hey, how did I go when I was sick in bed. I am not going to think too hard about that. I am not feeling so good, but I've woken up in strangers' houses looking worse. Indoor plumbing. What will those eggheads come up with next? Clothesline in the bathroom. City folk are so sophisticated. It'd be pretty dark in here without this. Logan D. Hollich. Looks like this truck hasn't made any deliveries for a few weeks. This building's amazing. It's like all Greek or Roman or something. It makes the Yelltown Traveling Library look like an ice cream truck driven by an ex-con. This painting reminds me of Greystone Woods. I hope Jervis and Cardero are okay out there. These e-readers are in terrible condition. They all smell like musty leaves. I feel like I should be wearing a tweed jacket in here. Quiet, please. No food or drink. No cell phones. No running. No diving. No peeing in the pool. This must be the supercomputer that runs this book prison. Greetings, Mega Brain. Oh, I have angered it. Oh, hello, sir. Wuthering Heights, have you read it? Have I read it? <laughs> have I read Wuthering Heights? <laughs> have you read Wuthering Heights? No. <laughs> Uh, my name's Trisha, by the way. Harper. Pleased to meet you. What's this chunky computer? The Interactive Mercantile Directory. The IMD is part of the library's local history project. What's it for? It lets you search all the businesses and institutions registered in PN over the last 30 years. It was developed at PNU by some of my friends. But to be honest, it's pretty much a yawn fest.
What's with all the books? This is Port Nicola Public Library. Do you have a license for them all? Do I need a license? Do you? Honey, I ought to take these books down to the station right now. No, please. Okay, okay. But at least get them neutered. Or, you know, you'll be overrun with pamphlets in no time. <laughs> Can I use the IMD? Sure. I just switched it off to save energy. The button's on the back. Thanks. I gotta run. Oh. Didn't you want to borrow a book or something? Um, maybe later. Cool. See you later. Sue, this is the Interactive Mercantile Directory. Let's take a look. Looks like I printed something. How futuristic and useful. I printed out some random address from the IMD. I don't know if this will be any use. That sculpture is... unsettling, and I thought Cardero's art was creepy. An advert for a company called Vision Laser Printing. It looks closed, but I can see someone in there. Hello? Sorry, bro. We're closed. How come you're closed? Look around you, pal. The town is dead thanks to this plague. I can't even get stock delivered. They're blocking pretty much every shipment coming into Port Nicola right now. I'd be tearing my hair out if it wasn't slick as hell. Why are they blocking shipments to Port Nicola? I don't know. I guess they think that's how the fever got to Yelltown? They're wrong. The fever didn't arrive by mail order. Whatever. Only basic necessities are getting through. Everything else gets checked and rechecked. Some pen pusher decided classic photographic equipment isn't a basic necessity. No way! I need to develop some photos? Going analog, eh? What type of film? I don't know. Uh, says... KF-20 on the spool. KF-20? No way! Seriously! Uh, why? What's KF-20? KF-20 is a super rare large format film from WW2. Huge, like, five-inch negatives. Great for landscapes. Cool that you found some. Let me see if I have any development kits left in the back. <sighs> Sorry, bro. All I have left is a display model, but it's missing one of the chemicals. What chemical is the photo development kit missing? The developing fluid. The developing fluid is important, right? It is, bro. You won't get far without it. Do you have any developing fluid in stock? No dice. Unless... Yes? If you really want to develop those snaps... I do. You could make yourself some caffeinol instead. What is caffeinol? Caffeinol is a homebrew photo developing fluid made of coffee. Your pics won't be the sharpest or the brightest, but hey, homemade developing fluid. How do I make caffeinol? You're gonna do it? Cool! Take some instant coffee. Not fresh coffee, not decaf, instant. Add some baking powder to it, and boom! You've got yourself developing fluid. But you should add some vitamin C as well, or it'll take hours for the film to develop. Instant coffee, baking powder, and vitamin C. Sounds easy. Yeah. Here, take the development kit. You'll need it once you've made some caffeinol. Thanks, man. Talk to you later. Later, bro. Escargo, soupe a la ongnon. Croquet, monsieur. Some doofus has printed this menu in French. Well, hey there, old timer. Hmm. Hello.
That magnifier you're using looks pretty powerful. Yeah, it's pretty good. I got it at the public library. They give them away free to seniors. At the library? Waste of taxpayers' money, if you ask me. But at least I can keep myself informed. You don't seem to be touching your coffee. Yeah. I had it with me since I caught the bus into town from Willowdale. It's freeze-dried instant crap. <laughs> Smells okay, though. Instant? I could, uh, get rid of it for you. No. Oh, I couldn't face Eliza's Joker's print without a cup of coffee by my side. Even instant coffee is better than no coffee, bub. Your coffee's getting cold. Let me take that away for you. Move a muscle and I will yell for the cops. The smell of coffee is one of the few pleasures I have left. Even if it is instant crap, I won't let anybody take that away from me. Okay, okay. See you around. Uh-huh. Restaurant Celine. Shame, it seems to be closed. It's the Port Nicola docks logo. There's an electric gate blocking the entrance to the dockyard. The crates look like they've been here for years. They have fair trade coffee, microbrewed craft beers, and something called paleo crepes. I bet the dockers just go crazy for paleo crepes. The Devil's Cut. Cool name. A load of napkins from Bear Catering. Looks like they got delivered recently. Hello? Ugh. Oh man, what a night. It... it can't be. Hopper? Leroy! How did you get out of Yelltown? Well, after you left, I kinda had a little rest. Remember that old tin bathtub? I told you to stop sleeping under that stinky old bathtub. That bathtub saved my damn life! I wake up next day and there's... dead bodies. Yellow suits. Are you working in Port Nicola? I signed on with Cargo East. I'll be on a container ship come tomorrow. But I just... Miss her so much. What? Who? My junkyard hop. I'll never see her again. Don't say that. I'm sure you'll see your beloved junkyard when this is all over. I gotta go. Hey, hop. I'm sure glad you made it out of Yelltown. Mm -hmm. These look good. Can I get this orange? Yeah, go ahead. Il Capo, we'll make you a coffee you can't refuse. Excuse me. What can I get ya? Can I get something to drink? You look like you could use one of our fine filter coffees. Oh, I sure could. Okay, here you go. That'll be seven bucks. Seven dollars? Don't you think overpriced tipster coffee is a bit... cliched? Yup. That's why this is an ironic postmodern pastiche of overpriced tipster coffee. Uh... Right. Here you go. Come back soon. I have to sell a kidney first. Seven dollar coffee. In Yelltown, seven dollars would buy you a coffee shop. Please present your Port Nicola dockyard ID for access. Hmm. I better be careful where I use this. Hellowell said this was illegal. I shouldn't just wave it around.
I bet PNU students are too smart to throw coins in the fountain. Nah. Elis Innovations are holding a clean energy seminar here next week. Hey, you. Who? Me? Yeah, you. Come here. What are you doing there? I'm finding my inner self. <laughs> what, here? In public? I sense you are in a state of imbalance. You are in pain, no? No, not really. You try to act tough, but you are afraid of what is to come. Meditation will help you recover your inner equilibrium. Come here. Listen to the wisdom of Master Deepak Shakur. Take this. Sit down. <laughs> okay, if it gets you off my back. Close your eyes and listen to my voice. Focus on your breathing. This is stupid. I don't think I'm doing this meditation thing right. I'm all achy. Hey, I recognize her. She's the girl from the photo I found in that diary. Amber Smith. Huh. I don't think she'd be interested in that. I might give this dumb meditation thing another shot. Close your eyes and listen to my voice. Focus on your breathing. In. Out. In. Out. Relax the parts of your body, one by one. Toes, feet, legs, arms. Feel the pressure lifting from you. The pressure is lifting. Lifting. Lift that pressure. Repeat your mantra. Om. Feel the world slipping away from you. The world is slipping away from me. Come on, slip already. Feel the pressure lifting from you. The pressure is lifting. Lifting. Lift that pressure. Repeat your mantra. Om. Feel love. Hello, well. Nah, stupid. Be you. I'm Harper Pendrel. Find peace. Home. Feel love. Hello, well. Nah, stupid. Be you. I'm Harper Pendrel. Find peace. Home. Thank you so much, Rupert. Mom? He's had a violent allergic reaction, but it's under control now. P Professor? I've given him something to help him sleep, and I want you to get some rest, too. Thank God you found him in time. Of course. You get some rest. I'll stay with him. I'll call RHC and tell them I'm not coming into work tomorrow. RHC? Oh, Rupert, I can't thank you enough. Wait, Mom? Mom!
McBride worked for RHC. Whoa, 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 what was that? Is that a memory? Uh, a dream? Hey, all my stuff's gone. Help, I, I've been robbed. Oh, God damn it. I'd love to let the multi-tool loose on the professor's gadgets. Find out how they all work? <clears throat> but I won't. Hey, professor. Harper, how are you feeling? I'm okay. Good, good. Glad you're back with us. Was I really infected with Yelltown fever? I'm still waiting for your blood work back. But as I said, currently you have no symptoms. But the man in black said it was the fever. It's possible your immune system fought it off, or some local factor stopped you becoming infected. Very interesting either way. But I thought Yelltown fever killed everybody. So far it has. If you really survived the fever, who knows what that might mean? Professor, what happened back in Yelltown? Some fanatic must be pulling the strings at RHC. That's the only explanation. But why would anyone want to kill so many people? <sighs> That's the question you have to keep asking, son. Are you getting along with Hellowell? We were both worried sick while you were away. Jane's a fine girl, but she does ask a lot of questions. Really? Uh, not to me. Oh, well, then she probably has the hots for me. Professor! Is it true you used to work for RHC? Well, yes. You don't remember? No. I suppose you were too young. I worked for RHC while I was finishing my doctorate, but I've had nothing to do with them since. Must be 25 years now. Why did you leave RHC? Harper, you know how these things happen. People move on or get the boot all the time. I had enough work at the university anyway. Do you still have any friends in RHC? I've had no contact with RHC for 25 years. Not until the attack in Yelltown. It's truly hard to believe. Do you know Patrick Rancho? Not really. He appeared around the time of the merger. I left not long after he became CEO. Any idea what Rancho could be up to? I've dedicated my life to fighting disease, Harper. Remember that. Do you think I like seeing medical science perverted like this? No, I... By people I used to work for. That's not what I meant, Professor. I'm sorry. Yeah. Talk later. Goodbye. Look at that microscope. You could probably knock a guy out with that. Harper, that's a sensitive piece of scientific equipment, and it weighs 30 pounds. You could definitely knock a guy out with it. Hey, Trish. Oh, hey, Harper. I hear you give away free magnifiers for reading. Yeah, we do. To seniors. Cool, cool. Can I have one? That depends. Are you a senior citizen? I was hoping you'd give me one for free just to be nice. No way. If you want one, they're three bucks. Well, I've really seen another side of you. Shut up and fork over the dough. I gotta run. Bye!